this is cool as well. I love the color combination of this. And now this is a... What's going on, everyone? How's it going? I hope you guys have had a fantastic week and a fantastic weekend as well. I am at the Eurotunnel today. Um, we're going to the Abentor Allrad Festival in Germany. I'm taking my trusty X5. I've got now, I've got a good 11 hours of driving to do before I get to a tiny little town called Bad Kissingen. I'm not even sure if I'm seeing that properly. We have four days, four bloody days, four bloody days of absolute overland off-road madness. So stay tuned and we're going to have some fun. See you guys soon. Yeah. Oh my gosh, check this out. I was walking through the car park and look at these. These are insane. I love it. They are like proper classic minis. Absolutely love it. I really want to get a mini and I've always loved this Gen Mini over every other mini. It's really cool. Check it halfway point we're almost there we got absolutely lost because the sat nav took us like round and round and round and then i lost network on my phone so the sat nav was doing one thing my phone was doing something completely different and then we were falling two different directions completely lost but then hey we got some gas and we're good to go let's get going check it we got the directions right. We have to take a shuttle bus to the venue, park our car at the car park. Seems pretty straightforward. Just reminds me of um, the Birmingham Arena or even the Manchester Arena. Same sort of setup. So we're in now, we're at the show, we're we'll and uh, we're going to go check out all the stuff. Look at that, that's just walk in and there's a dual cab Ford Ranger, the new gen Ranger, with this sort of canopy on the back. I'm not a big fan of this because it's, it's just too big and bulky. I always feel like if you want to go this big, you just go a bit bigger because I feel like this size is a bit in between. Fucking hell. Oh, this is what I need. I need to get one of these. Now, what I love about this truck is this bull bar. This bull bar is exactly the best feature of this truck. I love it. I'm a big fan of bull bars and this is it. We have the 7 Tiris Land Cruiser here, which is really cool. One of my absolute favorite and an absolute legend for any sort of overland travel is the 70 Series Land Cruiser. Now, if I could rebuild something and I had to buy it all over again, I'd probably build it in a 70 series Land Cruiser. I think this is one of the coolest wraps I've ever seen. Okay, so this is the Grenadier Quartermaster, obviously. Just look at it, it's got so many lights, it's gonna light up your future for sure. It's got lights in the grill, like a whole bunch of Osram lights on top. And check this out, if you've got a cool Defender, matte in like one of those matte chrome, sort of dual tone, tritone colors with like a bunch of laser lights on top and like a bucket for an air filter. Delta, that's the company we need to get in touch with, Delta seat covers, the Delta bags. This Grenadier has got something really cool on it. It's got a massive canopy on the back, which opens like a clamshell, but sideways, which is interesting. It's really cool, it's really cool. And it's got windows on top as well. Check out this Porsche with these wheels, absolutely legendary. Nothing beats a good set of roadie forms, but in this proper steel sort of finish. But guess what? They're not steel. They're still alloy and like, but they're designed to look like steel, which I think is super cool as well. But hey, whatever. That's cool. I absolutely love that. And 
And if I thought things couldn't get cooler, check out this G-Wagon. Murdered up G-Wagon, completely soft top spec. I, I am an absolutely in love. This is just sick. This is just sick. Look at this, the old fashioned license plate holder. Gosh, I miss cars when they were made like this. Wow, just wow. This is rally heaven. We've got a good old classic dark R spec G-Wagon, but guess what? It's actually original because it's still got the puck badge on it. Now these were the old, old, really authentic cheese which were first cut and it's amazing because it's got the bumps the bangs it's trashed all over it looks like it's come out straight from Africa it's probably even got mud from Africa as well and that's the coolest thing and check out this Ranger this like Delta is one of my favorite wheel companies they make really good wheels for like off-road and stuff for that and it's amazing now if I consider buying a truck I would absolutely love to have a sit out like this and I think this is the most practical thing you could ever have. This is one of the coolest accessories I've seen here. Imagine having a hammock on top of your rooftop tent. However, I would be a bit nervous lying on my hammock on top of my already tall truck. If you sleep and you fall off, it's going to be a long way down. But it's cool. Check out the collection of seats. You can actually sit on any one of them and see how comf comfy you are. And like you can actually add the armrest as well. You can spec it in whatever color you want. And I've got this entire video, how what is my review on the Shieldmans, which I think are like super, super cool and super comfy, especially in a material like this, that they're just like the best in the business. It just doesn't get better than a Shieldman seat. Have you ever seen the new G-Wagon pickup truck version, which is here, which is like, a super 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 rare thing and it's an absolute custom truck it's really interesting because i've never actually seen one of these in person and here it is look at that that is a complete custom rear end and that's legit awesome i know the show's getting stolen with like the grenadier quartermasters but like nothing is cooler than seeing one of these and this is like something that you would want to have because it's not lifted it's just standard spec it's got a big tray on the back. It's got a wheel carrier on the back as well, which looks super, super cool. What else do you need? You've got a Mercedes G-Wagon pickup. I love this brand. Strand Light's amazing. I personally use Strands on my car, and I absolutely think it's legit awesome. These are the brand new 70 series. As first time I'm seeing the brand new 70 series, the facelifted or the relaunched versions of them. And that's it right here. That is so cool. Honestly, I thought I wouldn't like it because I was so used to seeing the old shape with the old headlights. But now it's really cool as well because it's a new look. You need to get used to it. This is a really cool version of the 70 series Land Cruiser. But what I find is even more interesting on this particular one, it's got 37 inch tires on them, which like Hutchinson rims. Now those are proper split rims. I find that absolutely astonishing. This is really cool because this is a 70 series Land Cruiser in a color that I would want to have. The mustard yellow is absolutely legendary in my opinion. Kind of reminds me of the Camel Trophy colours that used to come back in the day. And this is a troop carrier as well, which is really cool. Now this is still the older one with the older headlights, a non-facelift version, a V8. Um, and it's sort of priced at 89,000 euro, which I think is a bit steep. But look, hey, these cars are appreciating value more than gold. Never can get bored with a 70 series Land Cruiser. Check this out. This is a six by six conversion, four, five, six. That's cool. So this, they've just left this open here so you can have a look at how the chassis conversion's made. You've had twin axles in the back and that's absolutely smashing. And it's interesting because when you have a closer look, you'll see the way the different leaves are lined up. You've got two leaves, two pack of leaves, one on the inward and one on the outward as well, which is really interesting very interesting and mind you the six by six they're all driven as well it's not like it's not driven and you've got one diff 
here and one diff here and you've got two different prop shafts coming through from that splitter in the middle. Very interesting. Now what you see here is a pretty interesting conversion by these guys called Toms. So they've built this and I think it's the most practical, nice version of a 70 series Land Cruiser. Now this is basically built on a pickup chassis and I think it's really practical, ideally for two people or even better for one person. One of the things you need to sort of think about when you're buying these overland trucks or vehicles is making sure that they sort of can at least fit in a 40 foot high cube container because shipping these all over the world is where things get really expensive and complicated. Now, if you have something beyond that, it's going to be quite uh, difficult to sort of move around. You'll have to get them in open containers and this just gets really, really expensive. So it's not really worth it. But having something that fits in a container is what it's all about. Now, when you turn up to a show like this, which already has like a million and one cool off-road vehicles, there's this company called Delta DE, which I'm not sure if you guys know about it or don't know about it, but you might have seen it on one of my previous seat covers, right? My Shieldman seats have like this Delta seat covers, which look really cool. They decided to bring the half the shop in this truck, which is this army truck. I have no clue what truck this is. What I find really interesting is check out, come here, check this out. It's got the diff that's actually mounted upside down or right side up, unlike any other diff. And come check this out. This is even more interesting, right? It opens up on the side like this. It's like this really cool vintage army truck. And inside is the entire store. They brought the entire store. We gotta go check this out. Now this is cool. This is cool. They've got the entire setup here. And believe it or not, this is not any custom truck. It's not like remanufactured. This is the original army truck. It's still got all the army plates on it on the sides. If you can come have a look at this, it's got all the army plates everywhere. And they've just, all they've done is just modernized it a little bit by having some lights in it, put some racks, and now you've got your little shop. How cool is that? This is the Ram TRX, which is one of my favorite American trucks. I actually like this way more than the Raptor. It just looks cool. It just looks so cool. I mean, I'm sure with these trucks turned on their head upside down, you're most likely going to be crushed in it. But who the hell cares? Who cares? It's amazing and it's amazing and you want to get one. My childhood reality. This is it, guys. This is it. This has been something I have fantasized for years and years and years. And this is what I grew up watching. Not some crazy nonsense, not some electric hybrid shit. I grew up watching the Camel Trophy. Now this was an integral part of my life because watching them and watching the nonsense that they used to do with these trucks back then was just astonishing. And it used to make my life living hell because I knew I couldn't get one of these. But the reality is that I got them and they're kind of crap. But I mean, I would just want to have one of these as a toy in my garage. Well, we are back into the bus now and uh, it's time for like day two. It's over, it's already over like for the last two hours, but I just can't seem to get enough of it. Let's go. It's day two, we're here already. It's been a long day, we've hardly even slept but it's been great fun because last night we had a great time. We met a few people and today we're at um, the back of the show again and we're going to see more stuff. I mean, this place is so massive that even four days isn't enough. Like we actually, we actually got kicked out yesterday because we overstayed. But anyway, let's see what's in store for us today. all your chimney lovers out there, this is sick. I think it's super cool because it's got a lot of flex on it. And this one belongs to the guys at Osram. There's nothing road legal about this. Everything is off-road spec. It's just made to go out in the bush and go have some fun. It's even got a kill switch here, which is pretty cool. So you know it's like a competition ready vehicle. This is 
a really interesting product I actually wanted to have a look. This is the Garmin Tread Off-Road Edition, and this is the Overland Edition, sorry, and it's a tenant screen. Now, I've never seen one in person because you always get the 8 inch screen, which is on the other side, and this is a 10 inch. And it's amazing because it gives you like a big screen with a lot of navigation. It comes preloaded with Eye Overlander as well, which is really handy because it gives you all your campgrounds, everything, everywhere. But the problem again is that if you have something so big and cool, someone's yeah. going to break into your truck and, buy, and steal it. And all your hard earned money is just gone. Just like that. Check this out. This one's got a dog cage so you can take your bitches with you. <laughs> This is awful. I can't be saying stuff like that on telly. I'm going to get banned. Going down in the water? Yeah. How deep is the water? Much deep. Still, uh... Yeah, when it's too much, yeah. there's a hole and the water goes up it's to the deepest like this. Oh, uh, okay. So it's not that bad. Not too much. And now we go to the first here. Down. One down. You can drive with two uh, wheels on this side. Yeah. You don't feel anything in it. <laughs> Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Okay, so I'm in like third gear and it's fine. Yeah. It feels a little bit slow. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm watching the wheels as well. Yeah. Come on, this is too easy. You're making this too easy for me. You're being nice. <laughs> I can't can change when I take off the phone. This is the first time I'm trying a unimog and this is insane! <laughs> this is insane! Okay, alright. Is this okay? You can go to the stand. Yeah. You can go to Morris and you become a license of Bliss. Bliss license. We get my license. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, that was insane! <laughs> I had a great opportunity to drive the Unimog and I've never driven a Unimog before and actually driving the Unimog off-road in conditions like this was absolutely stunning. I had a great time and the instructor was really sweet and really kind and he actually let me do the trail in like two-wheel drive and I am blown with the capacity of what the Unimog has to offer. It truly is one of the best off-road trucks I have ever driven, period. Let's go check out some more stuff and see how we get on. Oh yeah, these are pretty cool. Are they like just easy to sort of fill up? Is that it? Oh, that is cool. I need to get one of these. Oh, so it comes in a little bag. Oh, so this is a... This is the whole seat. That's it. So this all comes in this little bag. Check that out. A blow up seat. This is the definition of bigger is better. Size does really make a difference. I would know. I'm talking about tires, yeah. Don't know. Pervert. Come and check out this MAN. What a colour. What an absolute colour. And as you walk through, and this side, the old American trucks, check out the Tundra. It makes the Land Cruiser 300 look like a toy. And then check this out. This is the brand new, the facelift um, Land Cruiser 70 series with the ball bar and all of that with some evil course rims on it. Really interesting spec. This looks like a Middle East spec because the stickers are like a Middle East um, sort of spec. It's not like what you get in the EU. The show is clearly over. It's way past its time. However, we're still here. We haven't decided to go. Everyone's gone. And I just don't feel like leaving. There's still so much to see. There's so many trucks to check out. 
there's so many vehicles to go and see and I'm not bored. We've been walking the whole day. We've had an early morning. Just can't seem to get enough of these trucks. Have a look at this Land Cruiser. It's a 100 series Land Cruiser. It's got a lot of kit on it. It's completely customized. And check out like this cool little dude. Hey dude. Hey, how you doing? He's part of the show too, enjoying a show. <laughs> look at it. Just look at the ground clearance. You can see them side by side here with the Sprinter and an Iveco. And this comes with like an off-road spec. I know because I've had a chat with the person who owned it earlier. You have two versions. One is an on-road version and this is the off-road which come with off-road spec tires. It's really cool. It just keeps getting cooler and cooler and cooler. That's a Scania. But then look, I also see that on the road, like construction or mining vehicles have a very similar spec. But look, at some point, I need to call it a day. And for today, my legs are kind of done. So we'll continue this tomorrow. See you guys soon. Well, this is our last day at the Aventural Rod. I don't even know where to start. It's been such a fantastic show. We've met some legendary people. We've seen some legendary trucks, bikes, cars, off-road vehicles, everything. And if you're in this kind of scene, if you don't make it to an Aventa Rod show, bloody hell, you're really missing out. And we're gonna go wrap up and uh, see if we can find some cool people to chat with. Found myself in the Mercedes Arox. Um, I somehow stole the keys and we're here now. And I must say, I absolutely love it. And this is literally just an E-Class on steroids. It's got the same controls. You've got a beautiful screen here. Um, this is not specced over the top. It's specced more for purpose than style. So you don't have a lot of the aluminum or wooden trims all over the place. I know you can probably get um, a, a aluminum trim for the screen here and just a whole lot of stuff everywhere. But the seats are really comfortable. Um, it's got a nice material on it. It feels nice. It's, it feels like a place that you can sit and do miles and miles and miles and you can spend like hours and hours just driving. And I, I don't know, I just love it. And this is definitely bigger than my Chelsea apartment. This is huge. I mean, I'm tall, right? I'm like 5'9 and I'm pretty tall chick. I'm gonna stand here next to the wheel and you get an idea of how big this actually is. I mean, can you imagine driving this in London? I will drive into a few shops, take a few people with me as well. But this is insane. I love it. This is big. This handsome guy is fishy. Hello. <laughs> fishy is an amazing like, videographer, photographer. Everything that's camera, anything that's got a lens, anything you can see through the world. Uh, Fishies. Glasses? Anything that's got glasses. <laughs> but you don't have glasses. No. no. <laughs> I need some. Fishy is amazing. Check him out. Check out his stuff. He's pretty cool. We'll, we'll put some, I don't know, somewhere here we'll have some links to his stuff. No? Links, yeah. Links to yeah. you. Yeah. To you, Fishy. To, uh, to you. <laughs> to you. <laughs> Love him. This looks like a cool store. ARB finally decided to play catch up and come up with your own airbags. And this is their new MT64 suspension, which is sort of in between the BP51 and the Nitro Charger. So if you don't want the BP51 fully adjustables or the Nitro Charger just doesn't cut it, you can upscale to an MT64. How cool is this? This is so big. This is like one of the biggest trucks I've ever seen. It's a dual cab six axle as well, which is insane. It's not, it's not too common you see something like this. And this dual cab in the TGS is like a massive, massive, massive living room on its own. We are at the Kashmir Overlanders section. I've got Guido here, who is the... I'm one of the owners of the... Cashmere one of the Overlander owners. Company. As a European company, as a German company, having the name Kashmir, yes. which is a little bit far away from here. 
<laughs> so is. what's the story? What's, okay. what's the... The story about is that we want to, with that name, we want to combine two of our main columns of our product, the Overlander. For us, it is important that we build the cars with a real off-road capability, like the ram or the goat from the Kashmir region. But inside the cabin, the interior should be a little bit luxury. It should be quite comfortable, like in an apartment, like a Kashmir Pashida, mm. for instance. And so the, the name Kashmir combines both the off-road capacity and uh, the luxury inside of the cabin. Check out the brand new Bronco. It's really cool, but you know something? It's not as big as you think it is. It's actually a lot smaller. As a matter of fact, it actually feels a lot smaller than the Ford Ranger Raptor. It's pretty cool. Well, it has been an absolutely epic adventure and overland nest for me. I've enjoyed every minute of it. We've met a lot of cool people. We've seen a lot of stores. We've seen a lot of interesting vehicles everywhere. And at the end of the day, I'm so confused because there's so many good things to see. And if you're in this space, like I've already said, if you're not here doing this stuff, then bloody hell, you're wasting time. Come here to the Aventura Old Road Show, check it out. As for me, going from like racing, supercar scene, now slowly moving into the off-road scene, I'm really happy with it because you meet a bunch of really cool people. Some people you can like sit for hours together and hear stories of how they crossed the border and the dramas that have happened in the middle of Africa. So it's really interesting, a lovely space to be. But anyway, like I was saying, all good things come to an end and this is it for me. If you liked the video series of Aventura Aldrad, give us a like, maybe subscribe and probably share it with someone. That'll be really cool, would help us out a heap. And uh, we shall see you soon in the next videos. Till then, cha-ching.